back to another edition of the Ute Insider. Here at Ute Field today where soccer season is already underway. We'll catch up this uh, this edition with uh, head soccer coach Rich Manning here on Ute Insider. As always, soccer season upon us, expectations high here. Let's talk a little bit about your team, Rich. You've got a lot of players back from last year's squad, plus a fair amount of newcomers. Tell us who we should keep an eye on this year. Well, I really love the team. They have a really fantastic spirit. They're hungry. I think they had a lot of close losses last year that are kind of spurring them on. They're determined to uh, get over the top this year. And um, I think we have a good core of veteran leadership. And I would say, you know, starting in the back with our goalkeeper, Hannah Turpin, our two center backs, Lauren Dudley and Lauren Porter, um, and our forwards, Aaron Daly and Lauren Hare, we have a good core of people um, to kind of show the way. You've set a championship pedigree here at the University of Utah. Expectations are always high. What are your personal expectations for the team this season? I think we're a developing team. I love the team, I love the talent, and I love the character. Um, I think the early part of the season we're going to have to get some people some minutes, learn lessons again, but by conference season I expect us to be up there right at the top. You've got a new promotion this year. You're trying to get people to come out, really support the team, and and it's called Show Your Scarf. Tell us a little bit about the Show Your Scarf campaign and why you want people to come out and show your scarf this year. Sure, well, you know, the scarf, as you know, is, is a big part of the soccer culture and soccer supporting and stuff like that. And so we've always wanted to do it. Um, and our ticket office and uh, marketing department came up with a good idea of just, hey, let's that, let that be the ticket. And uh, so if you buy a season ticket, your scarf is your ticket. You get your scarf and we want everybody to have that at the stadium, um, showing their color, showing your scarf, as we say, and uh, making the stadium atmosphere fantastic. We talk a little bit about the newcomers on your team. Let's talk a little bit about the newcomers to your coaching staff. You've got two new assistants on your staff this year. Who are they and what are their roles on your team? Well, we have Ryan Crabb from, uh, he came from St. Mary's College in Indiana, uh, head coach at a D3 school. He's originally from Georgia and um, he brings a wealth of soccer coaching experience and obviously being a head coach I think he has some of those qualities. Um, he's a fantastic recruiter. He'll be working with our defense quite a bit this year. And then we have Marielle Wilner who's a young rising star in the profession. She was the goalkeeper coach the last two years at Penn State um, and had coached the first team All-American goalkeeper who's now playing in the WPS and uh, she brings a lot of goalkeeping knowledge and energy energy and spirit and stuff like that so um, she'll be working with the goalkeepers. She's also been a big force in the Show Your Scarf campaign. Um, so I think with that we have a good breadth of um, talent and experience and we can cover a lot of the bases that we want in our staff. And finally the question that every Utah coach has been asked this summer the Pac-10. What was your reaction when you heard the invitation was extended earlier this summer and maybe more importantly how about the move next year to the Pac-10 and what impact it will have on your program? The move to the Pac-10 had been rumored for so long I guess it was kind of like a breath of relief. Well I guess it, it is actually finally happening. Um, for us you know we've always played those teams. We have a winning record against those teams. Um, the Pac-10 is probably the best soccer conference in the country. Um, eight out of the ten teams last year made the NCAA tournament. So we want to be the best and we get to play with the best on a regular basis and it really um, it takes some of the pressure off our non-conference schedule and we can really focus on, on a conference and you know our goals are very high. We want to win the Pac-10 when we get there and we'll be working towards that and we're excited for that challenge. So I'm guessing the schedule that you've played in recent years will almost prepare your team because as you mentioned you've played a lot of those teams now so the transition should be relatively easy. Absolutely. Absolutely. We, the players that come here want to play against the best and want to be the best and we'll have a chance to do that and I think they're expecting that. Well that will do it for this edition of the Ute Insider out here at Ute Field again. Show your spirit, show your scarf this year and come out and support Utah women's soccer. We'll see you next time on the Ute Insider.